What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brink Young, and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis, Atlanta, and Mobile, Alabama. Of course, I got the trophies in the background. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about 10-time award-winning talk show, Brink TV. Now, to not adjust your TV set, we got a brand new face kicking it with us tonight. I'm talking about the homie, Cash Rolly Cam. What's happening with you, Mike? What's going on with y'all? Hey, first and foremost, I got to say thanks for coming on the show, man. It really has, it, it, it's, it's important to have new, fresh talent on the show. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. See, we break artists on the Brink TV show. You know, I can't really speak for all the other shows out there, but this is what we do. We break artists, and you definitely out here doing your thing, man. So go ahead and tell the people, where you from, first and foremost? Which I'm born and raised High Park, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh oh, High Park. We yeah, talking North. about that North. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. So growing up, man, who was who were you listening to? Who who did you have in your headphones? Man, growing up, I definitely listened to Gotti. You ain't got it the truth, you know what I'm saying? He spit the truth. I listened to Gucci, you know. Um I listen to a lot of uh, down south artists. You know, I ain't, I was, I'm a down south. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I feel you. I feel you. So, who would you say out of all the artists you name, or maybe some artists you didn't name, like who is your favorite artist of all time? Who to go to you? To be honest, oh, uh, it's, it's it's plenty of artists out here that's nice, right? But uh, I say, a couple years back, I say Black Youngster was my favorite artist. You know what I'm saying? When he was coming up. Uh, Gucci man, he the he, he the uncle of the game. You know, he that's my favorite artist too. Um, younger artists, I say I like I love Memphis sound. I love Memphis sound. Memphis sound got the best sound. So I fuck with uh, Lil Migo, Pooh Shice, you know, Block Boy. I fuck, you know, what I'm saying Memphis sound. That's what I'm. That's what I'm into. That's dope. That's dope. And of course, we gotta say shout out to the homie Pooh Shice. just signed a deal with sign. Gucci man. We talking about ten seventeen. You know what I'm saying? He finna be Brick Squad, and he probably already had them bricks. But yeah. that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. So how long have you been doing your thing? How long you been doing music, brother? Man, I've been um I've been dropping content for about two to three years. I got a video out right now. It's on YouTube. It's called Safari. Safari, yeah. I checked that done out earlier, man. That's dope. Yeah. I like that. Uh, I got uh pull up out right now. I got um TikTok. I got what else I got out? I got the Cash Boy out right now. I shot Cash Boy probably about a couple years ago though. The homie definitely working. He got plenty of music out here. Plenty stuff out here. I feel you. I feel you. So one 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 song I gotta talk about real quick, man. That's Safari. Like, what's the uh, the significance behind this song? Cause I was checking it out earlier, man. Let's talk about that. Man, um, the significance behind Safari. I was actually um in Philly, cause I just you know I traveled a little bit. I was staying in Philly for about three years, and my man's he a DJ in Philly, so I was like, you know what, um, we need to get together. You know, he was talking about producing and shit, so I was like, all right, you know, I use some of your beats or whatever. So uh, one day he had called me, and he was like, Yo, Cam, you need to come to my house right now. Like we finna do a session, uh, twelve hours. We locked in all day. He said, you not leaving my house till we you you come out with something. So I'm like, all right. So he, I get in the house, he producing the beats or whatnot. And shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm flowing and whatnot, and that's how I came up with Safari. And um, I got this previous song out before that uh, recording session for 12 hours. It's called, um, what is it called? It's called Will Chamberlain. It ain't even came out yet. But in the song, I kind of was like, I had, you know, came to a pause and was like, Safari. And that gave me the, uh, the thing to my next song, which was uh, Safari, the actual Safari song. So then, um, you know, it's just like, Safari is green, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I you know, put that with, a lot of shit, money, um, you know, uh, ganja, you know what I'm saying? Y'all smoke the marijuana type shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, pocket full of safari and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Some green shit in my pocket, you just know that. <laughs> That's what's up, that what's up. I'm digging it, man. Of course, definitely digging that whole thing. Now, you did mention Will Chamberlain. Is that the one, um, like, it, is it Will Chamberlain or is Will James? Because I, I remember seeing something on your Instagram. It was like a combination, like Will Chamberlain and LeBron James. Is that the same thing or is that something totally different? It's definitely the same thing. It's okay. just I haven't dropped the song yet. And the other person I was doing the song with, he named it Will Chamberlain. So I was just, when I dropped it, I was going to name it Will James. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Got you. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. So let's talk, man, production and features. Like, Let's talk some of the uh, producers that you're working with these days, man. Uh, well, I definitely work with, um, I like working with the people I know, so I'm not finna buy a beat or get a beat from you. If I ain't seen you in person, been around you in person, I'm not even finna shop with you type shit. Cause I like to be right there while you making, you know what I'm saying, making the beat. Yeah. So, well, I say the most top, uh, producer I work with, it was Roos 808. Okay. Roos 808, he made a song, Mega Man for Tay K, for Tay K got locked up, you know, uh, back when he was popping and shit. 
Yeah, yeah. He made the song Mega Man. That joint got like 20 million streams on YouTube. Wow. So, uh, Roots ain't always actually like a white boy. You know what I'm saying? I, ain't, <laughs> I, I thought he was black. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm thinking he's black, but not he white. But okay. uh, you also got Charlie Heat. Charlie Heat produced for um Ka, Kaye album, okay. uh, Life of Pablo or something like that. He got a couple tracks on there. So, I be in the studio a lot with uh, Charlie Heat. And I ain't never did anything on his beat shit, but this is some of the top producer I'll be working around. You know, he still give me advice and shit, you know, shit like that. I feel you, I feel you. Let's talk features, man. Who's some of the people that you've done songs with? Oh, uh, who I did songs with? I got one song out with uh, my guy in Memphis right now, Hot Boy Nate. He, okay. He doing a lot of hot shit in Memphis right now, so... You know, uh, I went to school with him back in the day, so I said, shit, if we rapping shit, we might as well go, go in this shit together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Might as well take it to the top. But, uh, shit, I got... One other artist, they live in Philly, Yola Cray. Okay. He got a couple of uh, Grammy nominations and shit for uh, writing music for people and shit like that. Wow. See, we talking about major heavy hitters. My guy is definitely working. Now, let's talk about projects. Are you working on any EPs or mixtapes or anything like that? Um, I got a small EP I'm working on right now, and I got a project coming out after that. The uh, small EP I'm working on right now is going to be called Three. Okay. Because uh, back to the session, you know, the 12-hour session, um, we in there. And like I just started going as soon as we get in, so I, I literally came out with like three songs in like 15 minutes. Wow! And um, the same producer right there on the spot, I was shit making the song while he was making the beat at the same time, and that's kind of like the vibes I like to have. So um, yeah, I got I give y'all the names of the songs. They ain't, I'm finna drop it anyway. But uh, I got Safar, John Wick, and um, what else? Dice Life. Then the three songs is gonna be on the tape uh, number three. And then um, I got a project coming out of, uh, coming out of that called Cash Infinity, something like that. So uh, I've, I've been working on these projects for like months, so you know, it's going to be fire. Everything going to be dope. You feel me? I got a whole lot of unreleased content, so. Okay, so when can we expect that? We talking maybe later this spring, probably this summer, what? You gonna the, the three the three project the EP that comes out probably like in the next month or two. Okay. So okay. Um, I'm just waiting on the cover art to get done for that. And um, I'm going to shoot two more videos on top of that Safari video. I'm going to shoot a uh, video for John Wick and a video for uh, Dice Life. And then I'm just going to drop it all together. Because sh it, it should have been, been dropped. Like, this shit should have been out. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Now, I was also checking out your YouTube, man. I saw a lot of videos. Like, there's a lot of girls that be in the videos dancing, man. So, y'all really be having some turned up, like, video sets, huh? Yeah, the video sets are always turned up, and then it's crazy because half the the females that y'all be seeing in the uh the videos, I went to school with them. So oh, wow. <laughs> it's crazy. That's dope. Like, that's dope. Everybody's trying to get their own thing going now, I guess. That, that's perfect. That's perfect, man. So of course we got to talk about the little one, you know. So what's fatherhood like for you, man? Uh, fatherhood is great. To yeah. be honest, I love fatherhood. I mean, like, I really took out music for about a couple of, like. Probably like six months to a year, and okay. this is this me cranking back up right here. You know what I'm saying? This me, I got some shit coming 2020. I just went ahead, I had to do this interview to let y'all know. So you know what I'm saying? Um, I took off. You know, it's cool. Like I ain't never had another person grow up in front of my face wow. like every day. You know what I'm saying? Wake up, he's smiling. Shit, I'm smiling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she get to that bag. You know what I'm saying? Take care of the family. You know. That's dope, man. That's definitely the motivation that's necessary to, like you say, get to that bag. Now, of course, let's go ahead and change the flow of traffic just a little bit. Let's talk about the state of Memphis hip-hop music right now, man. Where we at? Talk to me. Man, wow, I can't. To be honest, it ain't even no words to express how Memphis is looking right now uh, in the rap game. I mean, like, you got CMG doing their thing. You got my, all these new uh, artists getting signed, like my nigga Big 30, Pooh Shice, the little Migo. Like, I actually kicked it with these niggas, video shoots, uh, strip club, you know what I'm saying, whatever, you know, so uh, I had a couple shows with them uh, a couple times, so I feel like the the Memphis scene is the best music scene in the whole wide world to me, like, ain't nobody better than Memphis, like, I, like everybody, you go to, like, I, I lived in Philly for three years, like I said, so I went to Philly, only thing I'm hearing, money bag, black youngster, yo got it. I go somewhere else. I go to uh, New York, Baltimore, same thing. Money bag, yo got it. Black youngster, you feel me? Ain't nobody. Memphis is on right now. We we the hottest. No cap. I feel you. I feel you. So let's talk about like some of these cities that you like to travel to, man. You've mentioned Philly. Like, What are some of the other places that you like going? I like New York. New York nice. You know what I'm saying? I've been to the Empire State Building. I've been to uh, Statue of Liberty. You know the basic shit. You know, New York parties, man, crazy, man. On top of, uh, like... 
skyscrapers and them talking about the roof come over, you know, come out the top of the shit. You like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Some shit you ain't never, uh, some shit a Memphis nigga ain't ain't never experienced before. You feel me? So I like, I say New York, Philly, Miami. I've been in Miami, um, Atlanta, Georgia. I got a lot of folks down here. Um, shit, where else? Where else? Shit, I ain't, I ain't had a chance to make the Cali yet, but shit, I didn't, I didn't been all through the East Coast. Every every state on the East Coast, I done hit it. That's dope. That's dope. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the other things that you do. I saw that you also are into uh, video editing. You know, you actually do engineering too, right? Yeah, I do. I do engineering, video editing. Um, what else I do? You know, I do. I do a mixture of a lot of stuff. But I started off engineering because when I first started rapping, I was rapping on my phone. So, you know, this was back. 2013 you know when you know what i'm saying so i wasn't too keen on um the technology and stuff so then i went from the phone uh ended up getting a macbook and then you know fucking with some shit on logic and learn how to engineer and uh i downloaded final cut one day and started fucking with that because i just got tired of like going to somebody and asking them okay oh, you do my uh video like this or can you put this in it and then i, I get it back and it's like this is not it. Like, I done had about three, four videos that should have been dropped that ain't never dropped because the person ain't do how I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? I'm very specific. You know what I'm saying? I, put, I like to put my own shit in there now. So, if I know how to do it, I know that it's going to come out the way I want it type shit. I feel you. I feel you. So, what's the best way that somebody can get in contact with you? Like, if they wanted to, you know, solicit your services or anything like that. What's the best way they can reach out? Um, Follow me on... Instagram, I be on Instagram all day long. You feel me? I don't get on Facebook, none else. Instagram, where it's at, that's where I conduct all my business at. So Instagram, Cash Rolly Cam, uh, C A S H R O L L I E C A M. Uh, that's Cash Rolly Cam. Uh, you can, I'm on shit, YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, I'm on all streaming platforms. So you, you want to hear TikTok, Safari, one of my uh, new songs coming out or something like that? Shit, I'm on all streaming platforms. You ain't gotta uh, look too hard. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. You got any shout outs or anything before we get out of here? Um, shout out to my nigga Hot Boy Nate. You know what I'm saying? He really doing some shit in Memphis right now. Um, shout out to everybody that just got signed, you feel me? I fuck with uh Duke Deuce, you know what I'm saying? All them young niggas push lights, you know, they all my niggas and shit. But uh yeah, like I just wanna say shout out to the city too, cause the city doing a lot of great shit, you know what I'm saying? We trying to put ourselves in place for the next era, you feel what I'm saying? So I wanna say shout out to everybody really. That's dope. That's dope, man. I got one last question for you before we leave. Let's say there's an aspiring artist. You know, they're watching this interview right now, but they're thinking about giving up. What advice would you have for them? Um, my advice for them would be don't give up and stay independent because it's plenty of times I don't I want to give up. You know, it's, it's plenty of money involved in uh, this business, too. So you just got to be patient. You know what I'm saying? Just know that it's coming. Um, work hard, you gotta have good work ethic. Um, that's about it. Like, shit, you just gotta stay down till you come up. Cause it's been plenty of times I wanna say, fuck this rap shit, but nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm in it to the end. I promise my boy out here preaching to him. Y'all better make sure y'all listen. Go ahead, go to YouTube, check out Safari. TikTok is on there as well. Make sure y'all go to all the streaming platforms and check out my guy. He's really out here, he's grinding. Hey, with that being said, thanks again for coming on the show, man. All right, thank you. With that being said, now back to more Brink TV.